Okay, so a little while ago I did a video on the Cannondale Super 6 Evo, how the, uh, the fork travel stop was impacting in the head tube and uh, causing delamination um, of the head tube. So I'll show you some more pictures of that. But what I really want to talk about in this video primarily is that I've come up with a repair solution um, so we can get these bikes back on the road so they don't have to be destroyed or scrapped or chucked into landfill or any of that stuff. We can actually get them working again. Now, when I did the original video on, on the design failure, um, I, I was never contacted um, directly by Cannondale. Um, I have heard reports that the newer version has a metal plate bonded in and um, and that's sort of a similar thing to uh, the repair that I've developed um, which I'll show you in a minute. So without further ado let's have a look um, over the issues and um, and the solution. So for those unfamiliar with the problem have a look at the other video it goes into much more detail but basically when the fork rotates you have a metal pin on the fork which impacts the side of the frame in this region here and causes delamination. Now that is done. The reason why they, they limit the steering is because of the internal um, hydraulic cables. They, um, if you over rotate the fork, it could potentially cut through the hydraulic, uh, the hydraulic hose. So it's effectively acting like a bit of a guillotine on the hose. So then you lose the braking. So, you know, I can understand why they want to limit the rotation. Um, it just needs to be done you know, that needs to be done well. Here's another example, again, same area, and um, yeah, in, in this region here. Um, so, you know, in the space, um, you know, like I, I had a whole bunch of them come in, sort of one after the other. Um, closer look here, again, you can see that in that area there. And also on the other side, and it's marked in Rouse yellow pencil there. So um, now on the fork, you can see here's the metal pin, and you can also see the paint where in white where the hose has been, the hydro hose has been rubbing against that area and, and taking the paint off as well. So looking at from the underside, the delamination, you know, is really obvious. I mean, you can you can see in this area here, and also here. And if we go to the others, you can see the close up. It's really gouged in there. And this one's the same, not quite as bad as the first one. Um, same area there and there. Close up. If you can't if you can't get it now if you don't understand where the damage is now um, yeah probably don't need to circle it every time um, and on this fork again the other uh, the pin there doesn't seem to be as much damage to the paint on this one so the repair solution is um, a piece of titanium which was 3d printed so I modeled up a, um, in, a model up in CAD the shape and then had this part 3D printed out of um, out of titanium out of 64 titanium and that will get bonded in to that area on um, on the frame to provide a, um, a basic metal on metal contact as opposed to uh, metal on carbon um, especially which is less than ideal. Now, titanium is advantageous for this application because you don't get the galvanic corrosion between the carbon, um, carbon and titanium. They're, 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 quite, uh, they're quite inert due to the, where they sit on the galvanic scale. Um, there's a couple of little features um, you can see on the piece, just these holes that I've put um, 
I've put there and um, and there to allow bleed of the adhesive uh, during bonding so you don't get any voids of the adhesive uh, in that uh, you know when, when you're applying the part so here's the finished repair now the first thing to note is that we actually had to do a structural repair on the side of the head tube here and here first so um, all that laminate was repaired prior to preparing the uh, the front cavity for bonding in the, the titanium plate you can see the titanium plate now is reinforcing this area and this area where the the bump the metal bump stop on the fork will impact so now that's all reinforced uh, there with the titanium the the metal ring goes all the way around the front of the head tube to provide good bond area and uh, and basically tie the whole head tube together and reinforce that whole section and the it also in this area here the um, the titanium fitting goes up the head tube to provide some reinforcement support through there and also to avoid any sharp edges that may um, may damage the hose you know, you cut the hose so also note that the all the corners um, have got a radius on them so they're not a sharp edge now the adhesive that we used is a high sole product which we've um, it's it's a toughened high grade aerospace uh, epoxy adhesive which um, we used to use on F18 repairs so it's a very good epoxy very tough very strong goes very hard and um, and can handle some high temperature as well so you know it's the sort of thing you need to handle high temperature um, because if when you leave your bike in the car on a hot day it can be over 80 degrees I mean here in Australia when you, like if it's 40 degrees outside it can be it can be 80 plus you know, 90 degrees in the car so obviously you don't want your adhesive to be going soft um, and you pull out of the car go and ride and things fall apart so it needs to be some high temperature capable um, adhesive for that as well so that's the finished result and um, what you know I, I, I always prefer to repair things as opposed to scrapping them because if it's from an environmental point of view like if, if this frame wasn't repaired it would just go into landfill and that's that's unsustainable we can't keep doing that to to the environment we can't just keep throwing things away so there's a lot of talk on on recycling and it's something which I mean, I've spoken about and been looking into as well. Um, but repair is much better than recycling. If you can repair something or repurpose it, that's better than recycling. Recycling is sort of the end of the of the sustainable options. It's the last option. So if you can't repair, can't repurpose, then you look at recycling. So, um, so if you have one of these frames, which um, which has got that damage and from what I understand <laughs> there's probably quite a lot out there that do um, you can get in contact with us and uh, and we can see if we can get this repair done for you and get your bike back on the road and working again as opposed to being in landfill and um, yeah as I said I, I do believe that Cannondale have made a running change to this area I haven't seen it um myself i mean we've been in lockdown here in melbourne um i don't think there's many new bikes coming into the country from talking to the bike shops supply seems to be pretty low um, so i haven't seen one of the new uh the new models so if, if anyone's got some of that information um they want to drop the fork out send some pictures through i'd be most interested to see how they've done it this is how i've done it it works it works really well it provides a lot of protection to that area there's no risk of any galvanic corrosion 
yeah, it's a, it's a great solution. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments and we'll see you again soon. Okay, bye.